Okay, so we've made our own banner and we've got it into Dreamweaver and uh, we let Dreamweaver update our pages. Um, I thought in uh, just a few minutes here I would show you how if you wanted to make a change to that banner. So once you get it back into Dreamweaver, if you decided it didn't look quite right or you want to do something else to it, um, uh, how you could go back and forth between Fireworks and Dreamweaver. <clears throat> I think in a later tutorial I'll say, show the same process between Dreamweaver and Photoshop because uh, there's a new sort of connection between the, those two, but we're using fire, Fireworks right now. Um, so I want to make a change to this graphic and I've already inserted it here. Let me just get my template open. Alright, there's my template. Um, and uh, so that graphic is in there, <clears throat> but when I preview it in the browser Maybe I don't quite like, um, <clears throat> you know, something about it. Maybe I, I think it needs a little border around the outside, or maybe a little black border, possibly, around the outside. So something like that. I just want to move the text. So I'm going to switch back to Fireworks, okay, and make the change. So let's say I wanted a thin black border around, <clears throat> around this image. A quick way to do that is just to pick up the rectangle tool. Um, I'm going to drag out a rectangle. Now my rectangle already has white fill in it. You can see down here it has white fill and a black border. And what I want, I just want the black border. But before I remove the white fill, I'm going to make it the right size. So um, uh, my size was 770 by 130. Just typing it in down there in the property bar. And then I want this rectangle exactly on top of everything else. So if I put 0 and 0 in for the XY coordinates and then hit return, or enter. Now I've got a white rectangle sitting right on top of uh, my my banner. So I'm just going to go down now to the property bar and tell it that I don't want a solid fill. You see solids there. I'm going to say I just don't I want none. And that fill goes out. So you can see that nice thin black border around the outside. Basically I've just laid a rectangle on top of everything and then taken out the fill and it left its border behind. Okay, so now I've made a change to this banner in Fireworks, and this is my PNG. So I'm going to, of course, do File Save to save those changes in the PNG. But the file that is on my template is not the PNG. That's the JPEG that I exported. So I'm just going to go File and Export. And as long as I export it into the same place, so there's my globe banner.jpg, and it's in the ban banners folder. When I click export here, it's going to ask me if I want to copy over or I want to replace the existing one. So I'm going to say OK to that. Um, now, Dreamweaver doesn't know what these files look like. Dreamweaver just is using the file name. So that globe banner.jpg, um, Dreamweaver doesn't know that it changed. And I don't know if you can see, I'll preview this previews in the browser. Um, but you can see now that without me having to do anything in Dreamweaver, that new banner is automatically inserted, and there's that thin black line around it. So really easy to um, uh, change the graphic if, as long as I have the PNG. I just go back to Fireworks, re-export it out, and I can check quick on these different documents. Now I don't even have to update the template. See the update the template doesn't even think it's been changed, no asterisk, because I didn't change what file was in there, I just changed what the file looked like. Um, the one thing I do need though, if I want this to be reflected on um, the live version of the website, I just need that new um, graphic there, that bat globe banner, the one I just changed, that's the only file that needs to go up to the web server. So this is different than the synchronizing that we did before. I'm just going to select that graphic and I can use these arrows right here to put one individual file. So I'm just going to tell it to upload just that file. Okay, so with that much, I should be able to go here and uh, let me just get a browser window open here and we'll go, uh, we'll go check out, we'll go check out the live version of my site. And sure enough, by just uploading that one graphic, now m the live version of my website has that graphic on every page. Okay, thanks for watching. In the next uh, tutorial, we're going to talk a little, little bit more about using fireworks to get photographs ready to go onto your website.